Hey guys, so welcome to part two of my Blu-ray collection video, and hopefully I fix the glare on this, so we'll see. So I'm going to try and go through these fast, because actually all the parts are going to have a lot, So, but I'm going to try and do these under 10 minutes. So first one is Hellboy. This was good, great picture quality. I don't mind it. Next up we have Con Air. I really like this movie a lot, but could have done without it on Blu-ray, that's for sure. This next one, definitely I could have done without, but I only bought it because I, I went to this actual event, and it's WrestleMania. I forgot which one this is, 20... Was it 26? So, that's the only reason I bought it, but it does look really good, but unnecessary. Uh, v from Vendetta. This was cool. Um, eh, I guess you can get it cheap. Why not? Next up is Jumper. This was cool, but um, I don't know if I needed it on Blu-ray, but still it's cool. This is definitely a must-own. Love Cloverfield. Happy to have it. Looks great. Awesome. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I don't actually remember this. I kind of remember not thinking it was that great, but I think I need to rewatch it. This was okay. I don't remember it. I remember it being pretty decent, but I don't know if it was worth buying. This next one's worth buying for sure. It's Blade Runner. This is the the five disc, the one that comes with like every version. Looks fantastic. This is definitely a must own. This was cool. Narnia. Not my favorite Disney movie, but it looks really good. It's definitely my favorite Narnia movie. Next is The Eye. I don't remember this one. I definitely don't remember, but I remember it being okay. This one I didn't really care for, but my fiance loves this movie, and it's the other Boylan girl. I remember it being pretty good, but it's kind of those watch once type of movies. Fifth Element. Uh, I can't remember if this looked good or not. I think it looked pretty good. This, I, I like it. I don't love that movie. This movie I really like, Devil Wears Prada. I think it looked pretty damn good. I, I don't know. I like it. I don't know if it's worth buying on Blu-ray, but it's cool. This is my favorite Transporter movie, Transporter 2. It's the only one I own. Uh, I really like this one. Maybe it's because it's in Miami, but it was fun. This movie looked really good. It's just one of those movies I don't feel like watching. And it's 10,000 BC. It looked. I remember it looked really, really good, but that one I don't feel like it. This is a must-own. Uh, it's the Spider-Man trilogy, and it, obviously it comes with... Uh, one, two, and three. I personally love all three of them. Uh, they all looked really good, and it's just a movie you definitely want on Blu-ray for sure. Gotta show that sucker off. This was okay. Vantage Point. Uh, it didn't blow me away, but it, it was it was cool. Uh, this is an awesome movie. I Robot. It looked amazing too. You know, I'm sure you can get this cheap. It's it's really good. This one. Um, it's hit or miss, Independence Day. I don't remember it looking that great, and I don't know, I always liked it, but I didn't love that movie. This one, I, this was okay. Eon Flux, I don't remember this one. I think I remember it being okay. I don't know why I bought this, but I don't feel like getting rid of it, and it's Scorpion King. It's one of those, this was back when, like, the Universal movies were coming out on Blu-ray for the first time, and I was just like, yeah, let me get it. And that leads to Mummy 1 and 2. I personally like Mummy Returns the best. Um, but they're both good. And they both looked really good. I always liked this movie. I thought this was a cool movie. Shudder. It's one of those, um, you know, supernatural Asian horror movies. It's really good. I like it. Uh, the Bank Job. This was a cool movie. Uh, college Road Trip. This was really cheap. I remember it being like seven, eight bucks. It, it was okay. The Ruins. This is a really good horror movie for sure. Surprisingly good horror movies. And uh, Unbreakable. Very good. Underrated movie. Next up, we have 21. This was really cool the first time. The second time, it was uh, not quite as good, but it was still good. This is a classic right here. We got Step up to the streets. I'm not going to say anything bad about it because I love that movie. 
Next is Doomsday. This was one of those surprisingly really cool sci-fi action futuristic movie. I dug it. These two are classics. These are must-owns. Both Harold and Kumar's. Uh, I mean, the first one is always the best. Uh, but this one is really good, too. Both definitely worth buying. Dark City. This was this was pretty cool. I don't remember being blown away, but it was cool. One of my favorites. Never Back Down. Yes, and there's a part two coming out, and it's straight to DVD, and it looks like shit. Uh, Starship Troopers. This is a classic, classic 90s movie. Underrated for sure. The sequels all suck, so don't even bother. Prom Night. It's a fun, kind of fun PG-13 teen horror movie. Um, let me not lose my place. What Happens in Vegas. This was surprisingly funny. I dug it. It's not the best comedy, but it was it was cool for what it was. Street Kings. This was pretty good. Kind of like Training Day if you're into a movie like that. Gritty action movie. Uh, next up are the two Kill Bills. Personally, I love the first one. Second one's cool too, but the first one's by far the best. And they both look really good too, so. Uh, this one is probably a must own for your Blu ray collection. Transformers. Really nice demo disc type of film. Full of features. This is. I, I love this movie. Baby Mama. I could watch this all the time. Good stuff. Forbidden Kingdom. Uh, it's one of the movies where it's better the first time. It, it's not bad. This movie I, I, I need to rewatch. Uh, the Love Guru. I remember it being eh, but for some reason I couldn't give it away. I don't know why, but it was eh. 88 minutes. Much better the first time. Second time, so so. Deception. It's a cool movie. I don't know if I'd buy it, but it's, it's, it's definitely a movie you should at least check out once. This is, you gotta have, Iron Man, looks amazing, fun movie, superhero, can't go wrong. This is one of my favorite box sets I own. It's the ultimate unrated comedy collection, and it has Knocked Up, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, and 40 Year Old Virgin. Three must-own films, so you do what you gotta do to get them, because these three movies are, are amazing. Okay, the next, last few are Casino it's a classic movie, but it's really long, but I remember it looking pretty damn good, so it's great. Um, American Gangster, this is a good film. A little long, but really good film. Uh, Indiana Jones, I liked it. I know people don't really like it, but I, I dug it. And it looks really good, too. And I kind of like the cover. Uh, this one's one of my favorite Sandler movies, and it's You Don't Mess With the Zohan. It looked, looked really good, really funny. I would buy it because I, I like it. And I'm sure you can get the, this one, that movie cheap. And finally, for this part, I'm going to end it with a movie that everybody unanimous, unanimously hates. And it's uh, The Happening. Really funny in the non-supposed-to-be-funny type of way. But, um, you know, it's, it's one of those uh, Shyamalan mystery, suspenseful thriller type of movies. I like it. It's, as bad as the acting is, I like it. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching part two. Stick around. Part three will come up eventually soon. One or the other, either eventually or soon. And uh, I'll see you next time.